February 2016, black Jewish activist Jackie Walker made some comments in a private Facebook conversation. Um, the, the comments were leaked to the Israel, Israeli advocacy movement and subsequently published by the Jewish Chronicle. Um, the, the comment which caused all the commotion was this. Jackie Walker was talking about the, uh, the Holocaust and the slave trade. And she made this comment. Many Jews, my ancestors included, were the chief financiers of the sugar and slave trade. That comment very quickly turned into this accusation that Jackie Walker had said Jews controlled the slave trade, which of course isn't what she said. We'll look at that in more detail in a moment. But th this isn't just about Jackie Walker and, and her comment. It's also about the BBC. BBC played a key role in establishing the labor anti-Semitism crisis narrative. They were very, very involved in it right from the outset. And one of the chief proponents at the BBC of the labor anti-Semitism crisis was their uh, political correspondent, Nick Robinson. And Nick Robinson tweeted that Jackie Walker had said, Jews control the slave trade, as an example of labor anti-Semitism. So this is about Jackie Walker, but it's also about Nick Robinson and it's about the BBC. I complained to BBC in February 2019 about Nick Robinson's comment, because that simply isn't what Jackie Walker said. We'll look at that in more detail. But um, th this, is, this is really about the BBC's response. I got no response back from the BBC for months. The, the BBC's complaints procedure is enormously lengthy and quite, and quite labyrinthine. It's quite complicated. It goes on for a very long time. But uh, normally their first response is fairly quick. They normally just issue a response which just dismisses your complaint, and that's that. It's normally just some, some nonsense that you get. But I didn't really get anything back from BBC for months, and I pursued it and pursued it. I did finally get an answer from BBC many months later, in which BBC said that they had discussed the comment with Nick Robinson. They agreed that it might have been clearer, but they didn't really find any fault with it. They didn't think there was any problem. Uh, you can then go back to the BBC and say, I'm not happy with this response, I want a further reply. They then said, we have nothing further to say. So you can take, then take it to what they call the Executive Complaints Unit, which is, which is purported anyway to be separate from the rest of the BBC Complaints Procedure, is a more serious kind of an outfit, and will give you a much more considered response. So I submitted a further complaint to the Executive Complaints Unit, and... Many months later, astonishingly, I got a reply back which found in my favour. They found that Nick Robinson's tweet had indeed given an insufficiently accurate impression of Jackie Walker's tweet, and they, they instructed um, Nick Robinson to delete the tweet. Nick Robinson did delete the tweet, but in so doing, he made a further smear against another left uh, uh, member of the Labour Party, Chris Williamson, who was then an MP, which I've discussed in another video, and I'll put the link in the description. But he did delete the tweet about Jackie Walker, but at no point did he apologise for making it. And when you, the, the BBC published this in their, in their corrections and clarifications page, which is largely secret, they, they do publish it, but nobody knows they've published it, and so nobody ever sees it, but they, they, they did, they, could, they issued this correction and clarification. And it's, it's, it has a section at the bottom, further action. What further action is going to be taken about this? The further action was that Nick Robinson acknowledged that he had given an insufficiently accurate impression of Jackie Walker's tweet. And that was that. So let, let's look in more detail at what Jackie Walker actually said. Let's take a look. She said this. Many Jews, my ancestors included, were the chief financiers of the sugar and slave trade. I want to draw attention to this word, many. Many Jews. Many Jews. This became, in the Nick Robinson version, where Jews controlled the slave trade, only Jews. Only Jews were the chief financiers of the sugar and slave trade. The obvious problem here is this word many. Many does not mean only. J 
just very obviously. Many Jews enjoy doing crossword puzzles. Does that mean the same as? Only Jews enjoy doing crossword puzzles. No, of course it doesn't. Many Jews may well enjoy doing crossword puzzles, and many Christians may do, enjoy doing crossword puzzles, and many atheists might do, and many people of all sorts of religions and faiths and backgrounds and cultures and heritage and races may enjoy doing crossword puzzles as well as many Jews. It certainly does not mean that only Jews enjoy doing crossword puzzles. This is a logical problem in this, in this the Nick Robertson version, is that it substitutes the word many for the word only. But the two are quite plainly not the same. They don't mean the same thing. Nick Robertson and BBC could only make their accusation by distorting what Jackie Walker had said, by changing the meaning of a common English word, many, and changing that meaning to only. This is what Nick Robinson and BBC did, and this is the problem with this accusation. It simply changes the meaning of what Jackie Walker said. Jackie Walker simply did not say that only Jews uh, were the chief financiers of the sugar and slave trade, i.e. the Jews control the slave trade. She simply said that many people who were chief financiers of the sugar and slave trade were Jewish. Many were certainly other things. Many were Christian, Muslim, of no, of no denomination, race, race, or faith, or cultural heritage. It's simply a statement that Jews were involved in the slave trade. Well, we know that they were. There's no question about that. The question is, is it legitimate to say that Jews control the slave trade? Well, plainly it isn't. And that plainly is not what she said. So, the claim, did Jackie Walker say Jews control the slave trade? Is that claim true or false? Plainly it is false. 